Welcome. Today we'll walk through using the DAS to Unity bridge with Unity version, paired with the High Definition Rendering Pipeline, or HDRP. The first step is to prepare your Unity project. If you haven't created a project yet, click New Project, then select either the 3D HDRP Core Template or the 3D Sample Scene HDRP Sample Template. For this demonstration, we'll select 3D HDRP Core. Enter the name of your project and the location, then click Create Project. When starting a new project, allow several minutes for initialization. Once your Unity project is open, you can close the HDRP wizard or just minimize it. Next, open DAS Studio. For this video, we'll add Victoria 9 to our scene. After adding a character, you may want to give her some clothing and hair. Now, let's render an image using iRaid to get a reference. When you're ready, ensure your character is selected in the scene graph. Then go to the File menu, select Send To, and choose DAS to Unity. This is the DAS to Unity bridge. Make sure your project folder is correctly set. Select the Unity Assets folder. Notice that DAS Studio automatically detects that this is a new Unity project and automatically checks the option to install Unity files. For figures and assets with skeletons, select Skeletal Mesh. For props, choose Static Mesh. We will leave it set to Skeletal Mesh, since we want to import the fully rigged Victoria 9 character model. Once the export phase is complete, you'll get a pop-up notifying you to switch to Unity. Click OK and switch to Unity. If you have the Unity project open when you click OK, the Unity project import window should appear for your project. If you are prompted to update the script API, click Yes to all files. After import, the DAS to Unity bridge is installed. Next, Unity automatically detects and imports the figure exported from DAS Studio. A message may prompt you to add an iRay Diffusion profile for the HDRP pipeline to render skin and other materials with subsurface scattering. If the project settings window does not open, click Edit and select Project Settings. Then find the HDRP Global Settings section on the left pane. In the right pane, scroll down to the Diffusion Profile List section. Click the plus button at the bottom corner of the Diffusion Profile List to add a new profile. Then click the circle on the right to select the iRay Uber Skin Diffusion Profile. Now we're done with settings. Let's check out our character. You may want to adjust the sun's rotation and fix the camera angle for the best view. Compare your Unity character with the iRay reference image rendered in DAS Studio to ensure your import was successful. That's all for this video. I hope you found this tutorial on using the DAS to Unity bridge helpful.